Hello everyone. The point of this video is to show you three different star metal farms, an easy, a medium, and a hard in different zones, and they're going to be accessible by a shrine and very close to that shrine, so that they're very quick runs, three or four minutes each, um, maybe five tops, and the total is about 1,400 to 1,600 star metal, and they're easy stuff, and I put timestamps in the video itself so that if you want to see the one for Windsward, you can check that one. If you want to see the one for Weaver's Fen, you can just skip ahead to that one. Or if you want to go to this one in Ebon Scale, you can also do that. Let's see if we can eat this guy across. I don't think so. Not a chance. And we'll see if he does it. Nope. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, this is going to be the first uh, Star Metal run. It's going to be the easiest one to get to as far as uh, level-wise. And what we do is we're in Windsward. Here's the main capital of Windsward. And we're going for the Noble Reach Shrine. If you don't have it, you can run right over here and get it. And it's a very simple run. It has iron, gold, silver, platinum, and six star metal nodes. And this is going to be the least star metal um, of the three runs that I'll show you. But this is the most simple and accessible to newer people. I also take the... Uh, Iron when I'm out here as well. Pop a proficiency potion. And on this character, I'm doing an Iron Man challenge, which means I can't trade at all. So all the uh, items I, I have to find and gather and craft myself makes the game a lot harder. Um, but it gives you more goals and more challenges along the way. And this is a very popular area, so sometimes the star metal is not up, but it, it makes up for itself in um, by having a lot of different ores and items. And what I like to do is run up here. So I start low, run up here, and oftentimes right up there is air node, a really good one. And then once you grab that, you can just drop down, and there's more iron. And I've started off with none. We have quite a few gems already, and quite a bit of iron. We'll knock out these uh, star metal nodes. Quite an echo up here. Nice. If you have 300 strength, you have a 25% chance of your very first swing, and only your first swing on the uh, node, you have a 25% chance of it being one tapped, meaning you only take one swing and you get the whole thing. So on these larger nodes that take quite a few swings, it's really nice to have the 300 strength. Now here's where you're going to have a, an option. I like to run down right at this uh, little post. Grab this. Not only that, can run right by these guys or fight them if you want. And I grab these two. And that's only because um, I need them. <laughs> you come in this room, and this is it again, this is optional. 
but there's going to be silver in here. This guy drops interesting items sometimes. And there's also saltpeter if you want it. If I grab those. There's the silver ore. If you want, you can grab that river crest right over here. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can run through here up at the top. And if you do, there's going to be a lot of monsters and stuff, but it's no big deal. And you can grab all the chests along the way. Or you can run down in the water underneath the dock. Your choice. There's a chest in there. There's a chest in there. There's a chest in there. And there's a nice chest in here as well. But we're going to run right down to the end and get the star metal. So if you skip that um skip that little cave that we went in. And if you really don't even want the iron ore any of this, it's a very fast run from the shrine from the shrine these six ores and I'll we'll show you how many we get. We take this up. And of course, I'm not one tapping anything. Let's see if I can one tap this next one. Nope. So, the shrine. Grab the, the four up there, the two here, and you'll get. Approximately 200, maybe less, um, star metal. Now here's the interesting thing to this run that makes it a little bit better. Actually, a lot better. And what I do is I go into this cave, and most people know about this. There's going to be quite a few nodes in here. One here, silver. There's one tucked under right here. Hop up here, there's a nice gold node. I need all these, um, the gold, the silver, etc., for jewel crafting and for, um, for the gems. And once you're a high enough level, you can kind of just ignore these monsters. If you want in this cave, you can hop up here, and there's saltpeter there, there. They get a little feisty. See if we can grab this without getting shot. Nope. He's really feisty. And that alligator used to be um, a lot bigger and down by that other boat with that elite. Um, but we'll go from here. Now here's where the second little trick comes in and it's quite a big trick that most people don't know about and by most I just I, I rarely see these um, next um, nodes taken at all I'll show you where those are I also don't mind taking this uh, provisioning chest and I've already taken it and here it is so we're along this uh, little bay area. We've got the four, the two star metal nodes here. And these crates hop up on them, hop up over here, and get into a lot of iron ore. 
There's platinum up here. There's silver. Quite a bit. And nobody ever comes up here, or very rarely. And we'll give you uh, an idea of the total in just a moment. The trick on this is to hop up, run up here. There's the hat. Hop up here. There's the map again. Run along this area, slide over here, jump up on this ledge, and then right in this crack, you can hop up. Um, I am using a good pick that I've made that has a yield increase. And I use the proficiency potion, but um, I probably won't be using those anymore because it takes a lot of work for me to farm the uh, materials for those potions and it's not really worth it time time wise so I'll just burn through those proficiency potions so a lot of iron ore and then I always need platinum there's some platinum right up here Let's see what we get out of this then there's also more gold and we'll give you the totals for this very quick run with lots of uh, items, chests, etc. I run right along this ledge and I hop down. Got a nice view here. So the interesting thing is the shrine we pour it in there, we grab the iron here, we run down to this, we grab iron right there, then we start working our way back up. There's the air node. We drop down, grab more iron, right where the radical is, right in the center of the screen. The four star metal are along there. And I drop down and I go in the cave, run across, grab the things. You can go under or on top, across here, grab the star metal below us, the silver. I go into the cave and grab that stuff. Hop up here, do all this iron, the silver and the platinum, and here we are at the gold. So it's nice, it's an easy run. And you can do the star metal in three or four minutes. And if you need more, you can continue on like this. Grab more. And I, I need tons, so I always do all of this. So there's going to be two more star metal runs. And they're time stamped in the bottom. So if you don't like this one, you can just click on the other one and check that out. There's going to be one in Weaver's Fen. And there's one in Ebon Scale that both have uh, shrines and are quick runs. And if, if they're... The item's already taken. You can just bail out and pour it home. And it's really simple. So I do all this gold up here. And I pretty much give up on the run. And I don't go exploring up there. And I just drop down. And grab these two items. So this isn't a very, very tough run. And I had already taken this. This is Blight. And there we are. So let's find out what we did on this very quick, easy run. 450. Some Platinum. A bunch of Silver. Almost 500 Iron Ore. And the 200 Star Metal. That's pretty simple. And I'll show you the next uh, Star Metal runs that have a lot more Star Metal next. Okay, this is the second Star Metal run. And this one starts in Weaver's Fen. Last one was in Windsward, specifically through this area from Noble's Reach. And this one's in 
Weaver's Fen. You take the Shrine, or Portal in, and head west. Top it shows west. And we did get an interesting item uh, last run. As an Iron Man, that's nice to be able to get any of those uh, any of those items. And this has a lot more star metal along here. If you want, you can use a rapier to get across the water a little quicker. And I usually try to grab this blight root. And if you want the river crest and all the other items right there, you can grab those as well. But again, here we are. Weaver's Fen, head west. So we're going to aim for this little V. We're going to try to hop up there. And here we go. We're going to pop our proficiency potion. And it begins. And I'll prove that I don't have anything on me. We already got 200 star metal from the last run. And we're starting out. And away we go. That last run, if you really wanted just the star metal, you could probably do it in three minutes, maybe four. Um, it took about 11 minutes, I think, with, uh, with all the iron ore and the extra items along the top. So you could do it in three or four. And it's just, these are all designed to be very quick runs and easy runs. So we went west. Oh, we got a one tap. That's nice. And we're running along this spine. The first two sets are on the south side. Oop. And the next set is on the north side. So we're still kind of running west. If you want, there's a chest right there with those uh, two. Now we're on the north side of it. So we went along the south side. Now we're in the north side. So it's two on the south. And you just run a little bit wide here. So, so far, you get this uh, shrine. If you get to Weaver's Fen, even at a low level, As long as you don't aggro those, that one monster there, get around him. Get to these nodes even. Nice one tap. So we're on the north. Now we're on the south. We're going to go to the south. Another one tap. Let's go for three in a row. Oh, I've never got four in a row, but we got three in a row quite a few times. One taps. Oh, nice. Got a mining reward. And right at the end of this, there's going to be three more. And I'll show on the map. Weaver's Fen, right through here. To a, on the south, north, south, and see this little thing? It looks kind of like a cup of milk or whatever, a cup of water. We run across here, and we just grab them. And as you can see over there, there's even more. I'm taking my time, but we're not even three minutes into this. If I, if I wasn't talking or looking around and showing the map, I could probably do this in two minutes as far as uh, running through this. We'll grab the springstone. I'm going to hop up here. So 
so far. No creatures to deal with. This one, if you're a lower level, will probably aggro on you. For sure. But you can always hop up on that and get away from them. So if you're looking to uh, be a lower level and be sneaky about things, you could probably even do something like this and not aggro. The kind of, if we could do it. Yep, right there. So you could not aggro him as a low level. Just run from these guys. Now we're on the north side. So once you get used to the pattern, the south, south, north, south, south, you'll, uh, once you get used to it, just this whole stream, and then the two here, then up here, good gems. This is kind of a no-nonsense, pretty straightforward star metal run. And the idea is, by showing you three different um, quick, easily accessible star metal farms, you can pick which one is best for you. Sometimes they'll uh, one will be used and one won't be used, and you can just kind of cycle through them. Need star metal a lot. Yeah, for an Iron Man challenge, you can just do that. Now we're going to run to this little crescent. And if there's corruption up, it'll mess with the, uh, it'll mess with the, um, the spawning of these nodes. And I believe it has, may have. I've seen them up before. And if the corruption is too strong, you just pop some food. But there was three back there, and these three here. And if you're strong enough, you can just knock out these uh, portals, or the, the corruptions, and you can get them that way. So it's right along there. And if you want, you can grab these. Some wire fiber. As the Iron Man challenge, I need all that I can get, so I grab them. And that's about it. You can continue down and you can get some interesting items through here if you want. But to recap, on the second run, it's Weaver's Fen. Run right west. You're going to grab the south, then north, and then you're going to come across. And I, yeah, I look for this little cup thing. It's not really a cup. And there's two there. And then go on the north side. And then the two here. And if these corruption portals don't Void these out, they'll be there. That's uh, about it. Now we'll go on to the third one. And to recap on this run, 468. And you'll get even more if those last two sets are up. So you could get over 600 easily. And now we'll go on to the third one. Okay, we're on our uh, third set of star metal. And for that, we're going to go into ebb and scale. It's a little bit harder for people to reach, and I saved this one for last. And in the northeast, you're going to see the Lover's Shrine. What we're going to do is we're going to head right there. This is a fairly quick run. We're heading southeast. There's the shrine. I'll show it to you again. There's the map. Gonna run over to this path. And I would say only because along this path you're gonna have a uh, couple of, I believe, tigers. If you can outrun them, I guess at a low level, you could um, and somehow get to that lover's shrine and activate it. You could get in here, but it's a I don't know, maybe a minute run or less to get from that shrine. If I had a, a set of light armor, I could run quicker, but we're going for a very safe star metal run. And if you put a um, 
a pin, it'll actually show you on your uh, heads-up display how far away it is. And Basically, this is what you're shooting for. There's a lot of herbs along here as well, if you want them. And there's going to be some tigers right there, but we can see the star metal already over there. And there's the star metal up ahead. Let's see if we can actually get by that guy without having to fight him. And he's on us. So we're going to have to fight this guy, but it's no big deal. He's only level 55. And we'll ignore him. Now this is a very contested run usually, so I won't be messing around. And again, I emptied my uh, come on. I emptied my inventory. There's none in there. There's the 58 that we just got now. I still have three minutes left of that uh, proficiency potion. So the first run. You could probably do in three to four minutes. Uh, the second run, maybe four or five minutes, maybe less. That first run was 200. Second run would be 600 if they're all up. So that's 800. And we'll see how many we get out of this. Nice one taps. Pretty simple run. And you're just running along this ridge. Once you see the first, uh, once you get to the, once you get to that first one, from there to there, you don't really need any more direction because you constantly see the next ones or where they should be. Really nice. And this is probably one of the best uh, Star Metal runs if it's if it's available and up. And if it's not, you're going to see it pretty quick. Um, and you can just bail on it. You can see like the first few sets. Uh oh, there's our competition, and uh, they're gone. So we got two gone there. They're not going to be happy that. I don't want the fresh water, I want the spine. And what we do is we run across. So we missed out on those three. Most likely. These are going to be gone as well because they came from up here. There's three more. So that's six. That's about 200. And... I believe there's three more. So there's about 300 more ore that's available. And that was a three or four minute run there. So to sum it up, we missed out on 300 because those guys grabbed it. We still were able to grab 328. So another 600. The last run in Weaver's Fen was 600. There's 1,200 and another two. So 1,400. And you could, you could definitely get those in 15 minutes. Um, so that's not a bad run. It's pretty easy. They're all right next to the, uh, the, um, the shrines, pretty close to them, and they're easy runs. There's not, there's not a lot to them, and that that about wraps it up. So we're looking at the Lover's Shrine in Evans Reach. Started out, Windsward, Noble's Reach, the Noble's Reach Shrine. Got the six there. Not very many, but if you like iron ore and you need that and all the other items, it's worth it. And then we did Weaver's Fen and Evans Reach. So those three, and there's probably quite a few other little uh, star metal runs that you could you could figure out. But I like those three. They're pretty simple. Not much to them. 
and they're enjoyable. All right, guys. Thank you. Uh, if uh, you found this uh, video helpful, go ahead and hit the like or subscribe and do your thing. And I just like making these videos and showing things that I do in, in New World and how to get the items I need. Thanks. Have a good day.